Okay, so it's time for Q&A with Nikki. Um, I got kind of a cool job, so people ask me questions about different things in my experiences all the time. So I figured I'd make a place here on Nikki Thomas Network to answer your questions. And they come straight off my Facebook wall, so you know they're legit. Okay, first question. Let's see here. This is from Adrian Scott. My question, are you single and what do you look for in a guy? What's the secret to your heart? Okay, so rule number one, you're not supposed to give the instructions to somebody on how to win your heart. That's his job to figure out. And sorry to say nobody has figured that out yet. But the first step is to kind of want to do that. And you know, the right person hasn't come along. So no, I'm not looking either. I figured he's looking for me. Okay, so question number two. Hmm, here's a good one from my girl, Eileen Bauer. Have you ever hooked up with one of the celebrities you have met? No name needed if yes. No, no, I haven't. <laughs> um, that's kind of a popular question because one might assume, hey, you get to meet all these fine men. And I have never hooked up with any of them, but I will say a couple of them have made it clear that they were available to Nikki. But the chemistry wasn't there. I'll say that he was a comedian. I'll say that much. Okay, let's move it along before I start, you know, telling too much. Okay, let's see. Do you think your career makes finding a guy easier or harder? Y'all are really trying to get in my love life, right? Um, to be honest with you, and by the way, that comes from Riva, it makes it a little bit harder because people have the wrong idea. I'm not rich. I'm not hanging with Oprah on the weekends. I'm not doing anything that big and crazy. I'm just a single mom looking for the right person. Um, and I think a lot of guys are looking for an upgrade and they don't see us as being on the same level. And that becomes clear pretty quickly. So things kind of go downhill from there. Okay, let's see, we're gonna do one more, one more. Let's see if I can find a really good one. Hmm. If you were the president of the United States, what would be your top priority? I cannot answer that because my top priority right now is meeting the president of the United States. I have not met him. I don't want to be president. I want to meet our president and shake his hand and then I'm going to faint. I already know it's going to happen. All right. So here's our last question. This comes from Carrie. Nikki, being a single mother of a daughter as I was, have you had the drugs, sex, bullying talks yet? Age appropriate, of course. I talk to my daughter about everything. Now, I think rule number one, as far as being a parent, especially being a single parent, being a single parent of a girl, dialogue has always got to be there. My daughter is only eight, but I'm comfortable talking about any subject with her. So I'm comfortable, that makes her comfortable, so she comes to me with pretty much everything. And you know, she's getting to the age where we have to move into lots of different, deeper subjects, preparing her to be a woman. But I think that is the key. You can always um, edit or um, speak in the language that is appropriate for the age of the child, but it's very important to establish the bond and make sure that there is no subject that's off limits. And also, bottom line, as far as a young woman, that self-esteem has to be high for her to rise above all these crazy things that are going on nowadays. So that means my self-esteem has to be high. So I just make sure to, hey, I'm on a yoga mat right now. I just make sure to um, keep my own stuff tight so that she can look at me and say, hey, I already know how to do it because mom is doing it. So easy peasy. If you have a question for me, you can inbox me on Facebook if we're Facebook friends. If not, you can send me an email at Nikki T at the Nikki Thomas Network.com. That's it for Q&A with Nikki. You have a wonderful day. <laughs>